I, Mike Schreiner, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. So help me God. You know, I think it, it felt great. It feels great for Guelph to make history and be a leader as Guelph usually is. And I'm just looking forward to making a big difference and doing politics differently at Queen's Park and, you know, being a good constituency representative, but also serving all people in Ontario. He's been trying to get this spot for many, many years. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's been a little bit of an uphill battle, but incrementally, you, you, you did it. What does that, that feel like and when you look back at that? Well, anything that's worth doing is not easy, and you have to work hard for it. And so the kind of change we want to bring to Queen's Park, we know is going to take a lot of hard work. But as you can see, I've got an amazing team behind me. Doug Ford is meeting with Justin Trudeau this morning or this afternoon. I'm sure cap and trade will come up. What are your thoughts on cap and trade, his pledge to kill it, and do you think he can? Well, I think the uh, premier is being reckless in uh, eliminating carbon pricing without having an alternative plan in place. I've reached out to the new premier and said, you know what, if you adopt the Green Party's cap and trade plan, you can tackle climate change, create jobs, boost our economy, and literally put money in people's pockets. But he really wants to lower gas prices by 10 cents. Can he do all that and lower gas prices too? Well, you know what, the question is, is do we want to have a short-term fix or do we want to solve the problem? I want to get the noose of the oil and gas industry off our neck and start really helping people save money by traveling with electric vehicles, transit, and other forms of transportation. So we don't, we aren't dependent on the oil and gas sector. But do you look forward to making a big difference here at Queen's Park? How do you expect to do that closely? You know what, uh, elected Greens across the country have proven that one Green MLA or MPP or MP can make a huge difference. So we've seen that with Elizabeth May in Ottawa. We've seen that with Andrew Weaver in British Columbia, Peter Bevenbaker in Prince Edward Island, and David Kuhn in New Brunswick. One, changing the culture of just our toxic politics and showing how we can do politics differently, working across party lines to put the people of Ontario first, and also just bringing forward private members' bills that solve real challenges that people face in their day-to-day -day lives. Mike, you know, it looked at a certain point in this campaign that it could possibly be a minority. Mm -hmm. um, have your priorities shifted uh, in, in terms of what's going to be first up in terms of your agenda now that it is a majority PC government? I don't think my priorities have shifted. I mean, I, I campaigned on a promise to do politics differently. I'm going to do politics differently. I campaigned on a promise to create jobs, put people and plan at first, and I'm going to keep fighting for that. And you know what? I feel like there's we can tackle climate change, and uh, the new premier can fulfill his campaign promises. But if he's going to do that, he needs to listen to people like myself who are putting forward real solutions to tackle the problem, create jobs, and put money in people's pockets. How has Mr. Ford done so far? Well, you know what, I'm, I'm disappointed that he has um, attacked the environment and really sort of dismantled our climate change policies without putting any alternatives in place. It's one thing to say we'd move away from cap and trade. I haven't been a huge fan of cap and trade, but that has to be, moving away from that has to be done in a responsible way and there has to be an alternative plan in place because we're facing a crisis and to deny that crisis exists is irresponsible and reckless. How do you expect communications to go with Doug Ford? Uh, have you spoken with him and, and do you think it'll be difficult to get conversations? Well, you know what, I've, I've sent letters to the new premier um, suggesting that we meet and that we figure out ways to work together. I mean, we haven't had an opportunity to meet yet, but in fairness to the premier, I mean, he's had to put together a cabinet and form government, and, and so I'm hoping now that the legislature will sit next week and we'll have an opportunity to meet, and I can put forward some of the ideas and solutions that we think will work for people in Ontario. Can you be a... 
at this point unanswered, yes, but that's okay. Like I, I'm confident that in the coming weeks we'll have the opportunity to meet. Can you be a powerful party of one? Absolutely can be a powerful party one. I think I've already shown that, uh, you know, even prior to having a seat in the legislature, I led the charge, for example, on getting big money out of politics, uh, which was a significant piece of legislation that passed in 2016. So just watch what I can do now that I am an MPP.